Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Beauty by Lenoria across all of my social media platforms. Go ahead and thumbs up this video. Get a conversation started with me in the comment section down below. Go ahead and share the video with your family, friends, and coworkers, and go ahead and follow me on my other social media platforms, specifically Instagram. But today, we're coming to you with another haul. This is going to be a uh, high-end drugstore haul. This haul is actually coming in from Oaks of Beauty. Go ahead and grab a snack. Go ahead and grab your pen and paper. Go ahead and grab a list, whatever you may need, because this haul is going to be a little lengthy, but it's going to highlight a lot of the new releases and also some of my oldies but favorites that I love to repurchase when the time is necessary. Hopefully you've had a great day, but if you're ready, let's go ahead and get into this haul together. You're my beauty one taking me home One thing really lead to one Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the haul together. So we're gonna go ahead and start with everything on the lower end of the spectrum to the higher end of the spectrum. So we're gonna start off at the drugstore level first. And the first thing I wanna go ahead and pull out from the actual drugstore is going to be my favorite. This is hands down my favorite liquid lipstick from the actual drugstore. There is no better formula at the actual drugstore. And to be honest with you, when it comes to my top three holy grail liquid lipsticks, it's going to be Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And then these are my second on the list. I have other lipsticks that fall on that list, obviously. But it's Jeffree Star Velour Lip Liquid Lipsticks. And then these. These are the Super State Matte Ink from Maybelline New York. And these are amazing. These are amazing. Like every time I get them, every time... I have them. It's only been two shades, and they were the lighter shades that went on patchy, but I love them. It's actually what I have on my lips now. I'm actually wearing Jeffree Star Dominatrix topped with Kat Von D Bow and Arrow with the uh, Super Stay Matte Ink in Loyalist in the actual middle for this particular nude lip. When I tell you these things are beautiful, they don't dry down all the way like a traditional liquid lipstick but that's the beautiful thing about it it leaves your lips still being moisturized without having that drying feeling or cracking feeling it doesn't wear off weird it actually starts to blend into your actual lips and your complexion as it starts to wear down these are absolutely stunning so these are the shades that i got and we'll go ahead and swatch them this blue shade that i got tell me that isn't you know me. He knew I was going for a color like this. But these are their new release colors. I have about eight of the other ones from their original release. I think they originally came out with like six or eight. And then they expanded to 12. And I think now they have like 16 or 20. I have all together, including this, I have about 16 of them. So that's how much I love this. But this blue one is going to be Explore. And the thing that I love the most about it is that dofa tip this is perfect for being able to line the lips and that little hole in the middle carries just enough product to always make sure you have everything you need to actually completely fill in your actual lip and this blue is so beautiful it's a deep blue um hopefully it's coming up blue on camera because on the monitor it's coming up kind of purple but it is a deep royal blue and it is so beautiful the next one i got is going to be shade 130 and this is self starter and self starter is just amazing it's just an amazing color it's a really great nude it's kind of a pinky peachy rosy nude for women of color so that is simply stunning and beautiful and because it has a brown base to it, it makes it very women of color friendly. And the next one I got is going to be shade 117. And this is a Groundbreaker. And Groundbreaker is a stunning red. It's an orange based kind of brick red that leans a little bit more orangey bricky. So this is a stunning color it comes across whew, 
no matter what look you're doing, this will always come across so beautiful. And you can lighten it by putting a lighter shade on top. Or, of course, you can darken it by using a really dark lip liner as you go in with this. This is one of my favorite colors. And the next one I got is the shade 135 Globe Trotter. And as you can tell, it almost just melts right into my normal skin color. So this is definitely a deeper nude for women of color. And it's a orange brown base nude. If you can see that. So if you are a fair complexion, this is going to come up more browny, orangey on you. But on women of color, it's going to be a beautiful nude. And the last shade that I got is shade 115. And this is in Founder. And Founder is going to be your berry. Mm. They smell so good. This is it's, it's, it's vanilla. It smells... It smells like vanilla, blueberries with a little bit of lemon. It literally smells like a drink. It literally smells like a drink at Starbucks, literally. Um, this is a beautiful, it's a berry, mauve it's hints of strawberry underneath that mauve. It is a stunning shade. I absolutely love it. Um, when it comes to Maybelline, I'm not a big fan of drugstore lip products for the most part, but Maybelline really knocked it out the park with this one. Maybelline really came through with these lip shades. So these are my favorite liquid lipsticks at the drugstore. We'll go ahead and move on to the collab, the product that Jackie Anna was promoting with Olay. I have the Olay Mist, and I got the one in the Ultimate Hydration, and this is the energizing one. And with this particular mist, it smells like skincare. It definitely smells like skincare. It's a very fine light mist. Let's see if you guys can actually see that. It's a very fine light mist. And you can actually use this when you're doing your skincare at night. Or you can actually go ahead and do it on top of your makeup. Now, maybe I shouldn't do it on top of my makeup because I have oily skin, but definitely if you have dry skin, you could definitely use this as a setting spray for your actual makeup. So pretty happy that I got that. It took me a minute to find it because that bad boy was sold out everywhere. And this is the Revlon Color Stay. This is the Prep and Protect Primer. I heard about this particular primer as I was actually going looking for different other primers to be able to use to be able to showcase on my actual channel and this primer actually comes uh kind of a beige color it had pretty good reviews online i wanted something that would help extend my makeup but still be able to help mattify my actual skin and this primer is very watery it kind of smells a little bit like a very light scent of sunscreen and nutmeg it smells like it smells like the holidays either it smells like the holidays or i'm hungry but child i'm probably just hungry i'm probably just hungry so i can't wait to actually try that primer from revlon i also went ahead and tried the full spectrum the new line that covergirl released i went ahead and picked up their matte Ambition, which is their mattifying primer. I wanted to go ahead and pick this up and go ahead and give it a try just to really kind of see. And this one is going to be a white primer. And it's not runny. It's thick. It's more like... Smells like paint. Smells like paint. Definitely smells like makeup. Definitely smells like makeup. But the smell dissipates. And it first comes out as a very strong paint smell. But then it dissipates. Huh. This, 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 I'm going to have to give a gander. I'm going to have to see exactly what I can actually do with that. The next thing that I got was the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage um, Complete. This is a powder foundation. I got the shade in Truffle because I wanted to be able to use this to bronze my skin. So let's go ahead and get it swatched for you guys. I've already been playing it. You can see my little grubby fingerprints have already been in it, but... I wanted to go ahead and play in it. And that is going to be a beautiful shade to be able to go in and actually bronze my skin. So next time I get ready to do my makeup, this hopefully will be one that I'll be able to go in and actually start bronzing with. And the next thing that I got 
I don't know why I ordered two orders. The problem with ordering two orders is I took certain things out of my cart on the first order and then two days later Ulta had a sale. And I already had a coupon and then a lot of the items that I was looking at went on sale and I was like, bag damn it. Now I gotta go in and place another order. So I thought I had took these out of my cart the first go around, but I didn't. So I winded up getting four of the new J-Cat. These are the J-Cat Beauty. These are the Vanity Goddess Chromatic Pigments. I got two of the exact same shades for each one. So it's actually just two. But the first one I got is going... This is in the shade Ench Enchantress. And do you guys see that? Do you see how beautiful that is with J-Cat? And the next shade that I got with them is going to be in the shade Flushing Queen. So that's Flushing Queen and this is Enchantress. So we'll go ahead and dim the light so you guys can actually see it. So both of these are stunning. Like I can't wait to get and play with these. And the way that these apply and go on, they'll go on beautifully without, and they even look really pretty when you mix them all together. Reminds me of Simply, Simply Nail Logica. I almost want to go, hey, look, it's holographic. It's not. When you mix them all together, it starts to go into this whole little duochrome thing as I'm wiping it off my hand. But I cannot wait to get into and to play with these. Um, I only ordered these two shades because these were the only two that really spoke out to me and called out to me. And the next thing we're going to get into is going to be a primer. And this is just simply my CoverGirl Outlast All Day. This is the primer base and this is supposed to really help with oily skin. So I went ahead and grabbed this because it is a makeup wear extender. And I did see really great reviews for this online. And I did hear about this in a couple of year-end favorite videos for 2018. So I decided to give this a go. This and this, both of them, both the CoverGirl and the Revlon, they both came from year-end favorites. Plus, reading the reviews on Ulta, wanted to go ahead and give those a go for my oily skin. And the last two items that came in from the actual drugstore... It is going to be, again, CoverGirl's new line, their Full Spectrum line. I went ahead and got their foundation. And this is their Matte and Ambition. And this is an all-day shine-free foundation. And I got the shade Deep Cool number two. Now, Deep Cool is, when I was playing with it, when I got it in, just to make sure I got in what I actually needed, it is... A little bit darker for me but I like the shade of it I like the undertone of it and that can always be fixed and corrected with actual concealer so I'm very happy about that shade so if you are in C45 with Mac then this is going to be your actual color it's gonna be just a little bit darker so is if you're in C46 this is a perfect match if you normally are NC45 and MAC and you mix in just a little bit of NC50 to get your perfect skin complexion to match your face to your chest to your body, then this is going to be perfect for you. So either you're a mix of NC45 and NC50 and this is it, or you're NC46, the new shades MAC release, and this is going to be a perfect color for this. I'm actually going to be doing a dupe on this coming up in an actual future video. And with this one... The last one that I had come in, this is the L'Oreal Infallible. This is a 24-hour fresh wear, and this is in shade 510. I thought I needed to go ahead and get shade 510, and the reason why I thought I needed shade 510 is because the one I hauled last month, if you guys can remember, I thought it was going to be too dark for me. Now, these, this is what I have on now, not this color. But that is what I have. And you see how it blends into my skin. And I thought, hey, that will be a perfect shade for me. Well, the original one I got in shade 515 was actually a pretty good shade match for me. Because if you look at the face and what I have on now to my actual body, this is actually a pretty good one too. So I'm, I'm totally confused. I'm going to go ahead and swatch 515 next to it as well. So this way you guys can see. And you can see it automatically comes out a little bit darker. 
And this one just goes on a little bit richer. So where 510 is truly a yellow base, 515 goes more into a red base. And for me, I would keep both of them because although I'm a matte NC45, I from time to time will mix in NC50 into it. Sometimes my skin pulls a little more golden. Sometimes it pulls a little bit more with uh, red undertones. And I'll honesty i'm actually an olive undertone my undertone is olive and a lot of times whether it's high-end luxury or drugstore foundations when i'm trying to match it's very hard for me to get my actual color match and sometimes when i try to get a neutral shade it'll kind of start to go casket ready so for me i'm either going to go ahead and take a foundation that is a little too warm and use my concealer to balance it out or if I get one that's a little golden on me, then I'll just use my bronzer to balance it out. So the new shade that I picked up was 510. And the shade that I originally had that I thought was too deep was 515. And I'm going to keep both of them because if you actually look closely at them, you'll see that 510 is NC45 in MAC and 515 is NC50 in MAC. And boom, I mix both of those and use those. So both of these will work for me. So I'll go ahead and keep both of those. They did send me this little free Maybelline Master Precise all day. This is a liquid liner that they sent free with my order. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the higher end items in this actual order. First thing is Sugar Pill Cosmetics was is now available on Ulta. And I went ahead and got one of their components for their liquid lipsticks. And the shade that I got is in Plinky. And I love the Dofa on the front of theirs because it has that little flat foot and it goes to the tip. So it makes applying it so effortlessly. And that's the shade. And these smell like lemon cookies. They have a very strong lemon vanilla cookie smell. I love all types of mauve. So everything I get is always gonna be some type of mauve or either wild crazy color. That's just my M.O. I have a crap ton of mauve. So this was one of the liquid lipsticks from Sugar Peel. And Urban Decay had their Hex Ready 24-7 Travel Ready Pencil Set. It was um, for $29 at Ulta, but I think I paid $14.95 for mine. And it gives you the black, the gold, the blue, the purple, and a bronze one. They had these sets for 50% off, and I was like, who not going to get that? As much as I love the Urban Decay 24-7 Glottum, I was not about to leave this in my shopping cart. And they also went ahead and did a 50% off on the Dose of Colors Snow Angels. Now, this is a palette that I wanted since it first came out, since I first saw it on Trend Mood. But I just procrastinated. I was like, I'll get it eventually. So here are what the colors look like on the inside. Those colors are stunning, and those colors are definitely screaming my name. And when I went in and swatched them from the darkest to the lightest, I was just thoroughly surprised at how beautiful these actually came across my skin. And that's it swatched. Of course, I could double up on the swatches, but that is swatching across foundation. So it is picking up and grabbing a little bit better. But the one thing I did notice when I went in and grabbed these to swatch them, they are very, very soft. Very, very soft. I don't necessarily think they'll have a lot of kick up, but if you could look at right where I swatched it, see all the powder that came up because it's super, super soft, especially right here in the lighter shade, right there. They're very, very soft, so that's something I'll try to be careful with when I'm actually using it, but so happy I finally got a chance to get a dose of colors. And again, everything that I'm showing you and talking to you guys today about was 50% off. And this was Ulta's after Christmas sale. I placed the order on December 23rd and another one on December 27th. Like, Ulta, you planned me. You played me with that one, Ulta. And the next thing that I went ahead and got that were high end, Mac even has these 50% off. Well, not 50% off. I think they were 25% off in the store. They're normally like $29. They had them for 25% off, plus I had another coupon. So I literally got this for $12. This is the MAC Shiny Pretty Thing. This is their Party Favors Mini Glitter and Pigments. And this is the one in pink. 
Now, the reason why I love this and the reason why I got this, all of these other colors are normal colors that you can actually get from MAC. So not a big deal, not a big whoop. When I went into my MAC store over here at my local mall, they had the NC46 that I went ahead and was able to actually swatch. It was pre completely pretty much out. So the girl, the only thing she could do was just take the inside and just swap it. She wasn't able to give me a sample. So I went ahead and ordered MAC NC46 online. And let me tell you, baby, that is my perfect MAC NC46. I no longer need the MAC Mix NC45 or NC50, um, depending on some days my being olive undertone, some days my skin will lean a little bit more golden. Some days it'll lean a little bit more reddish, pinkish, but it's truly just an olive undertone. The pigments that come in it are going to be, this is Bright Fuchsia, and I already had a big one of these. And this is Heliotype. The purple one is Heliotype. The white one is Pink Opal, but the reason why I bought the set was for this actual glitter. This glitter that comes in Pink Hologram. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this looks like. Okay guys, so this right here on the top is pink opal. This one in the middle is going to be heliotype. And this one on the bottom, this glitter that is just doing everything. That is the um, glitter in pink hologram. When I say these glitters are just so pretty, they are so beautiful, like, I myself am just like, oh, I can only imagine what this looks like on my eyes. Now, this top one in pink hologram, it actually has a sheen. It's, it's, it's a white base that sheens out to a pink, but it still maintains a white, white base. That purple is a very pigmented eyeshadow glitter. It's glitter. I put it across their mixing medium so it actually sticks. And then that final one. This one right here is the reason why I wanted to buy the entire pack, just for that one glitter, because they don't have it as part of their regular lineup, and I can't get it as part of anything else outside of getting this package. So if you guys see it, I think right now they're still like $22, or if it's at Ulta, and if it's still on sale at Ulta, I think you can get it for like less than $13. MAC definitely makes some wonderful pigments, so this is something I definitely encourage you guys to go get. And the final part of the haul is something that I've been wanting for years. I've been wanting this one since a little bit after it came out. And I would always get samples of it. I would always select this as a 100 point perk or anything like that. But I just kept waiting and kept waiting and kept waiting and was like, when the next time they send me my 20% off coupon, I'm going to treat myself like as if all of this other stuff wasn't already a treat. No, baby, this is just regular life. But when I want to treat myself, I'm definitely going to go for fragrances. Perfume and colognes are where I actually treat myself. I got the YSL and this is the Moon Paris. And I went ahead and got the three fluid ounce and I got the Du Parfum. My French is horrible. It's that definitely sounded ratchet. Definitely sounded ratchet, Lynn. I like the way YSL always packages their stuff. Higher end brands just really go above and beyond with packaging. But this is what it looks like. And when I tell you this smells utterly The smell of this smells, it's a very um, fresh springtime scent. Um, if you've ever had a chance to smell Mon Paris, go to your Dillard's, go to your Macy's counter, go to Sephora, go to Ulta. Just go in and smell it, and I bet money. Guys, if you're looking for something for your girls, look no further. Buy her this, and I promise you, she won't be disappointed. It's, it's strong. But it's not overwhelmingly strong. It's not going to give you a headache. If you're sensitive to smells, baby, stay far away from this. This is not for you. But if you're normal or you can handle scents, then this is a perfect scent. And I saw the Glam, Glam Twins talking about it in one of their monthly favorites. And I was like, I got to get that. I got to get that. They talked about some other perfumes that are on my to-get list. But with this one, 
it just has this really pretty underlying floral scent, but it's not too floral. -y. I hate flower scents. Anything that smells like roses and gardenias, I hate flower smelling perfumes. That's probably part of the reason why I prefer a cologne over perfume. But this, this right here is a date night scent. This is a wedding night scent. This is a we going away to the cabin for the weekend type scent. This is a... I'm finna pull the biggest ball at the club type scent. You know, just just however you live your life, far be it for me to judge you. I'm just letting you know that this scent, baby, will take you to the next level, be it guy or girl. When you put this particular scent on, and it is a perfume, it's not a cologne, but when you put this scent on, literally, I could go out and I could run errands and do everything that I got to do for my household and bet money somewhere throughout my day. Someone will stop me and ask me, what is that you're wearing? It's, it's, it's strong enough to follow you and stay with you all day, but it's soft enough to not give you a headache. It is soft enough to not be intrusive when you walk into a room or you sit in a space or you get in someone's car or whatever it may be. It's soft enough to not be intrusive, but it's strong enough to make a huge impact. Ooh. This, of uh, everything that I wanted in my cart, I knew if I didn't get nothing else in my cart, especially since this was a uh, before Christmas purchase. So I was like, I'm gonna get this for Christmas for myself. Like in my mind, that's how I justified the purchase. Cause YSL scents aren't necessarily the cheapest, but they're more affordable when it comes to higher end fragrances. There is another scent that Aaliyah J was talking about in her Vlogmas. That scent that's like $550, boo. I'm going to have to build up on my Nordstrom um, credits and my Nordstrom points when they send you, you know, your Nordstrom notes, the $20 discounts they be giving. I need to let that build up so I can get a discount on that perfume and actually go get that perfume. But for now, this is, this just became my number one holy girl type thing. It was always my number one scent. This was always this and Black Woman. If you've ever smelled Black Woman, then you already know this Black Woman and Guilty Gucci. Number one top rated scents. But this right here, oh yeah, Gucci Bamboo. Love that one too. You know what? I, I need to find cheaper scents. That's what I need to do with my life. But yeah, if you can, go get it because this is going to be an amazing, wonderful scent for you guys. So you'll love it. And that is the end of the haul. If you've made it this far, hopefully you were able to go ahead and eat your snacks, you know, whatever, finish your dinner, whatever it may be. Hopefully you've made an extra shopping list because as you already know, this entire haul and everything that you've seen, I almost forgot one thing. How could I? My bio silk. This is the bio silk silk therapy in the original formula. And I absolutely love using this and having this when I'm busy doing my hair. It doesn't matter if my hair is straight or if it's in a natural braid out state like this. I'll take just a little bit of this, put it on my hair. It keeps my hair soft, moisturized. It prevents my hair from shedding. It prevents my hair from tangling up, especially if my hair is straight and pulled back in a ponytail. Before I put my ponytail on, I'll saturate the area of my hair where the ponytail is actually gonna sit on my hair with this. So I'll take and I'll put a pretty generous amount, maybe two quarter sizes in my hand, and I'll just rub that around the area where my ponytail is gonna be with my ponytail is here, or up here, or off to the side, wherever my ponytail is. I'll take and make sure wherever I'm putting the rubber band at, this is what comes in contact with it before it comes in contact with my hair because it helps to create slide within your hair and slip within your hair. So this is an amazing product. I always get the little small little ones, but this time with the 20% off discount, I went ahead and grabbed a big one. Plus they had it on sale and I was like, you ain't got to, what you ain't never got to do is tell me more than once that it's on sale and I got a coupon on top of that that I can stack on top of that sale for a product that I was out that I needed. It's, 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 it's a go figure. I was definitely going to get it. So let's get back to the end of the video. <laughs> that is everything. And again, everything that here is here in front of me is from Ulta. So with that being said, you guys know they send out the $25 off coupons. You guys know they always send out the $3.50 off coupons. Uh, we're coming up um, mid-January, end of January. So within the next week to maybe four weeks, be on the lookout for the next 20% coupon. Ulta always constantly sends out those coupons for 20% off and 
especially when it says 20% off entire store, including prestige brands. When it says including prestige brands, then you're able to take 20% off of a product like this. So instead of spending 150 on your perfume, you're able to take 20% off of that and save it and make it a little bit more affordable. But simply their 25% off will apply to everything on this side of the house, the drugstore side of the house. So either way it goes, it's still going to be a great sale, especially when they're doing their uh, beauty steals and deals. When they do their products that are normally $30, $40, $50, $60, and it goes on sale for half the price, girl, get it. You'll see get it. But hopefully you've enjoyed this haul. Hopefully you were able to go ahead and make your list and start to fill your shopping cart so the next time a sale comes all you got to do is enter your discount code and boop, check out. <laughs> but again, my name is Lynn. Thank you so much for spending your morning, afternoon, evening. Girl, I don't care when it is. Just thank you for spending your time with me. And thank you so much, YouTube. Until next time.